electronic cataloging has many advantages. Speed of lookup, space considerations, photos, technical specifications, and instant updatability make e-catalogs a necessity in today's auto parts store. Electronic catalogs also allow more seamless transition to e-commerce platforms. Having catalog information, pricing, and real-time inventory available to customers via the internet allows them to shop your merchandise 24-7. Still, for all of the convenience and computing power of e-catalogs, there are a few circumstances when they just don't measure up to paper. The first scenario is the hard-to-find mystery part. When it comes to a known year, make, model, part lookup, eCats are the go-to resource. However, when presented with a part of unknown origin, it gets a little trickier. Electronic catalogs lock in on a set of selected specifications and filter out a lot of the unnecessary information. Sometimes you need more options to look at, a range of possibilities to choose from, and that's a strong suit for the paper catalogs. Another category where paper still holds up well is industrial and other non-automotive applications. While some electronic platforms include non-automotive catalog information, the year, make, model format doesn't always work well for these types of requests. While these parts may only make up a small portion of your daily workload, being able to comfortably transition from the computer screen to paper and back again makes for a more well-rounded parts specialist. Some print resources just don't translate well to a computer screen. One specific example is the color chip books provided by automotive refinish companies. With pages of color chips categorized by manufacturer and model year, these books are the bible for matching and selecting paint colors. Due to differences in monitor settings, you simply cannot achieve an accurate color match by viewing an example on a computer screen. Even though parts pros are far more likely to turn to the eCAT for the bulk of their answers, the information contained in those old paper catalogs remains a viable resource. For vintage applications, this information doesn't change very much, so the information is still relevant. In cases where a particular part has been discontinued, you might not find a reference to it in your electronic catalog, but the old number still might be useful as an interchange to another brand. E-catalogs are here to stay, and for good reason. But don't throw out those old paper catalogs just yet. I'm Josh Cable. Thanks for watching.